Something's just going down. Kids were here at Christmas time shooting some bow and arrows over there. And I cannot find them. <clears throat> Somebody's cooking steak. It smells good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's my bench again. Just a mess. Just a mess. Okay, I'm doing these carbs tonight one way or the other. The Leafs game's on too, and I don't want to miss that, but... I don't know how that came undone, but... Yeah, I just gotta clean that one out, bolt the other one on. This, this won't take very long. Okay, first I gotta clean my bench up. Again. Okay, ready to tackle these carbs. This carb's done, just gotta bolt it back on. I got the new Allen head screws here. Got the filters. Also got a couple more parts. Oh, I thought there was just one part in here. This is the proper spring for the 1970 side stand, right there. So I'm going to hook that up. And I got some decals. That's not what the decal looks like. Should be black with gold on the outside, that's what I wanted, but it doesn't look like it. Oh my god. Should be like that. I want them like that, black with the gold on the outside. These are the tank decals. Oh, that's a good knife. Good scissor. This does not look like the right ones here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're not going to be able to tell until you peel it off, but it's supposed to be like that, black with the gold. What's it say here? Jeez, hate to stick it on and find it's the wrong one. Huh. I'll take a sneak peek at that. So decals. 
spring. This is a seven inch headlight. I've got the factory one. But uh, this one comes with the um, the H4 bulb and you can put the H4 bulb in here I believe the factory one you can't put the H4 bulb in it so that's why I ordered that a lot brighter okay that goes on there let's start on the carbs the car we've already got cleaned out. Warmed up today it's about uh, plus two or three So it's a uh, calcium built up on there or something. No fuel in it. <laughs> All right, let's put this back together. These Allen heads come with new lock washers. Quite a bit longer than the st stock ones. <laughs> Yep, typical. Just need to snug them up. Okay. 
Take this curb off and then put the other one on. Just, I'm gonna. I've already cleaned these carbs, but uh, oh, I want to check that idle circuit one more time on this one. Make sure I got it clean. And I'll put all the new Allen head screws in here. on this thing. What's so junk in here? Lots of junk. This bike doesn't run right now. These carbs cleaned out as best I can get them. I'm buying new ones. I think it's going to run all right. It should run good now. Okay, 
I've been putting this off, you guys. I've just been putting it off. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I just got no energy. Uh, get that up there like that. No motivation, no energy. Yeah, now that I got the headlight switches, I'm going to start working on the uh, wiring. Boot looks good, got it on there. What the wrench go? It's uh, hard for me to get going on uh, another project until I button up all these other projects I got going on and that's including working on the house and my vehicles. <clears throat> that's what slows me down. I get like 10 projects on the go and I want to do them all and I get overloaded and I don't do any of them. So I got a lot of those house projects and vehicles and all that stuff done the last week or two. And, uh, and then it's cold weather too. Like I was gonna film putting that starter motor in the, the uh, avalanche, but it was dripping salt water on me. I even took the truck to the car wash. And uh, still, was, I let it dry for a, half a day and it was still okay dripping all over me I didn't want to put my cameras under there and it was a pain to do too okay you guys that curb is done that curb is cleaned up and done let's do the other one should be pretty quick should be pretty quick now that I know what I'm doing I just want to make sure that idle circuit is uh, clear.
Wow. There's sediment in here. Out of that fuel tank. So yeah, I've got to put those filters in there. Wow, that's what's plugging up this idle circuit every time I go to start it. I, I've cleaned this thing out 15 times. And there's literally like fine grit in there again. Oh boy. Okay, so take out this idle circuit screw. And uh, get my piece of wire. piece of that wire here. You know when you watch that Lumad video there with that guy with his anal carbs and he does the same thing sticks a piece of wire in there and it, it doesn't look like it's uh, doing anything or going in very far but uh, it is so I need to get this in all the way over to my finger over here about that far sure she's pretty straight. It's got a little bend in it. <laughs> Start on the right side. You dummy. You big dummy. Okay, I'm through that first part. Let me see. Wow, this one goes right through. Yeah, this one's going right clean through. So that other one was plugged. Because this one, the other one had to really work that uh, wire in there. No, this one's clear. Huh. This one goes through pretty easy. Let me just see how big that hole is. I got the air jet blocked off solid. As we know, the air passes through all right. But this is the fuel, fuel inlet here. And I got my finger over the two transfer ports inside there to feel the air coming out. And they're coming out pretty good there. 
they're actually coming out better in this one than they are in the other one. <clears throat> they feel feels like it's a little bit better unless I, unless I got more air in my air, comp air compressor than I did the last time. But uh, yeah, this one's nice and clear. I, I knew it was that other car, but the idle circuit that was plugged up. Okay, let me put this one back together. on there to hold it in place. A little bit of grease. Yeah, my phone rang there again. I should be using my GoPro. That's why it cut out. Yeah, I'm working in my basement there, down the stairs, and building another room. And as you walk down the stairs, I'm building a whole, like, a boot, boxes and shelves. And, uh, so I'm trying to focus on that, this, trucks, cars, people, work. It's supposed to work today, but I put it off till tomorrow. Focused. Let's put that little here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a an idle circuit jet drill drill bit. I've only ever seen one in my life, and uh, the racers used to use it. Rejetting, rejetting their bike at the racetrack. If it was lean, they could drill it out a little bit bigger. And it was a pretty cool thing. A friend of mine uh, had one, and it was a little machined, it's a little tiny machined piece of metal like this, like a little uh, chuck, knurled aluminum chuck, and and you could put in these little tiny wee, you know, little little drill bits like these things, and chuck it in there, and then you just drilled it with your finger. You just turned it with your finger. Um, the guy I worked on motorsport with back in the 80s, that's what he had. And because I would drill that other idle circuit out a little bit bigger, maybe drill both these out. You can always uh, adjust the fuel down with the air mixture screw. That's what I'm thinking. This one seems to blow through a little bit cleaner than the other one. A little bit more air, I think. This little spigot's in the way here. Okay. Okay, let's put this one back on.
Is this the third time I had these carbs off? Something like that? Third, fourth, five. But that's the issue. I know that. I know that's what it is. That jet on the other side. I know it's open now, but whether it's open enough, up enough, I'm not sure. Probably trim these videos down, they're too long doing this. Okay. Now the hard one, the middle one. Get going in there. Uh, look at the threads are nice and clean. I can do it by hand. Just a little better. Okay. I hope that thing's not picking the radio up. This one up tighter, tight, tight, tight. Here's the balancer tube. It's in there good.
Okay, those are tight. Those are on. Yeah. Make sure this boot's on all the way. Get it on the other side. Okay, that's on there, that's on there. Fuel lines. Okay. Now, Make these nineties. Should be down here. So let's cut this right in the middle here. side in the middle. Probably going to change all this eventually, but good for now. There. things. How do I do this to myself? Okay, like that. Like that. Like that. Something like that. Let's see how that works.
something's not quite right here. stiffer than hell. All right, let's put this tank on. This is new. goes like this and then this goes like this and there it's just temporary for now I'm not even I'm not happy with that at all A little bit. Okay, that's it. That's, I might be able to fire this thing up. <laughs> oh, this one's turned out a little bit. That's why. Gas on. Nothing's leaking yet. Okay, gas is on. Still didn't adjust the clutch yet. I think this bike should run, I don't know. Sleeping yet? One 
thing I didn't do was adjust those uh, screws, mixture screws. Everything else should be the exact same. Okay. Half, one, one and a half. Battery hooked up, I think. I still got this. I think I still got everything hooked up here. That's a mess here. I don't know where the idol's at. Pretty close. bleeding uh, choke is in oh, I think it's gonna start I don't know <laughs> All right. let's see here let's see if it's gonna start I don't know turn the idle up or something. I got the choke on. Key on. Oh, my hip is so friggin' sore.
Well, that's not bad with those old uh, fouled spark plugs in there. But uh, she'll run now with the with the choke off. And uh, before it stalled, there was idling around 900, 8900. I, I was just kept kept turning down the the idle mix, the idle uh, screws, because it was idling at about 12 to 1500. But that's those old fouled plugs in there too that I fouled out a bunch of times. And uh, that's how she's supposed to run. Finally, that idle circuit on that right carb was a problem the whole frickin' time. If it was dry out, I'd take it for a spin. So now I'm going to start on the wiring. Next, I get the headlight and everything in it. And uh, I'm going to drill a hole in the frame here and down here. Run the wires through the frame. Turn the fuel off. Okay. That's it for tonight. She runs. And now she runs decent. That's how she's supposed to run. That's how she's supposed to run right there. Just needs a little dialing and set the timing. Put some fresh plugs in it. And uh, and, and i got to balance that uh, uh, the slides a little bit at idle. Because I was screwing around with them before up and down. So I know they're not quite lined up. i got, I got some vacuum gauges up there on the wall. Up there. I could put some vacuum gauges on it and get it really dialed right in. But uh, there she goes. Now she's running, I'm comfortable with that. And now it's just all the little stuff. We're gonna start working on that tank right away. I was already at Peter's house today. And uh, uh, he's gonna show me how to get those tanks, uh, those dents out of there. And uh, we'll get this painted up. Okay, that's it for tonight, guys. Thanks for all the uh, subscriptions there in the last week there too. I got a pile a pile in this past week. I gotta try to get up to a thousand, but I mean, it may take till June to get it up that high. But uh, we're getting closer. I think I should be at about 400 by tomorrow. Thank you.